Hello all. In this video, we will see the solution to the common problems uh, faced with while using USB ASP programmer, which is generally used to program AVR and 8051 ICs. While connecting the USB ASP programmer to 8051 development board, always take care that the ground pin matches the ground pin of the 8051 development board. No separate power source is required for 8051 development board. Uh, it can source the power from the USB uh, itself. While placing the IC onto the zip socket, take care that pin 1 all always matches the handle. It should be near the handle. The dotted slot should be near the handle. We will be using Proga SP software, a Chinese software to upload hex file onto the 8051 IC. The Proga ISP software, the two blocks, PRG ISP and the USB ISP, both should not be grayed out. If hardware is not found, PRG ISP will be grayed out. If uh, driver is not proper, USB ISP will be grayed out. You can install the driver uh, using the uh, link uh, given below. Just double click install driver. The USB ISP driver will be automatically installed. A restart may be required. Uh, after installing the driver, you can open the device manager and verify the USB ASP uh, presence. Now open the Proga ASP uh, software and select the IC. Uh, correct IC should be selected 89S52 or 89C52, both are different. So select the correct IC. Now I am just uh, clicking on erase, I am getting chip enable error. Even after uh, adjusting the programming voltage to lower level. I am getting again the chip enable error. I am just unticking the verify signature option. Uh, so the uh, chip enable error persists. This problem is because of firmware corruption and not due to other hardware. So let us see how to upgrade firmware onto USB ASP. For this we require uh, Arduino you know, which we will be using it as, uh, uh, as ISP. Connect the Arduino Uno to USB and then open the device manager to note down the COM port allotted. Now open the Arduino IDE. Select the uh, from uh, tools, select the uh, hardware as uh, Arduino Uno and uh, select the COM port allotted to the Arduino Uno and select programmer as uh, Arduino as ISP. We will be using it as a programmer, so select Arduino as ISP and from examples select the Arduino ISP program and then click on upload. Now the Arduino ISP code is being uploaded onto Arduino. Done uploading. Now Arduino is ready as ISP. Now let us see the connection between uh, USB ASP programmer and Arduino uh, Uno. We will require some uh, uh, male to female jumper wires for this purpose. The pin connections are printed on the USB ASP at the back side. Uh, we will be using the ISP con connections of Arduino Uno. That is also present at pins 10, 11, 12 and 13. We will be using jumper wires for this purpose. First connect the 5 volt of uh, Arduino to VCC of uh, USB ASP and ground of Arduino to ground of USB ASP. Now let us see the connections of uh, ISP at pins 10, 11, 12 and 13 of Arduino Uno. Pin 10 of Arduino Uno goes to RST of USB ASP. Pin 11 goes to MOSI, master out slave in. Pin 12 goes to MISO, master in slave out. And pin 13 goes to RST. So these are the ISP connections between Arduino Uno and the USB ASP hardware. Now provide the USB of PC to Arduino Uno and not to USB ASP. This is very important as uh, Arduino you know uh, we are going to use it as master. We will be using AVR DUDE software to upgrade the firmware. Open the AVR DUDE software 
the link is provided in the description below you can download it and select the programmer as uh, Arduino and port is the com port that is allotted to Arduino you know and baud rate is 19200 this will work only in this baud rate no other baud rate will work and select the target IC as 80 mega 8 now the path of the firmware should be given Down you can download the uh, firmware from the description given below and select the 80 mega 8 firmware hex file this is the uh, website of a uh, developer of uh, USB ASP Thomas Fisk you can download the uh, firmware from this website download the latest firmware and you have to uh, unzip twice as it is a tar file you have to unzip first and then again inside the folder you find a, a zipped file again you have to unzip it and finally you can uh, uh, see inside the bin file firmware 80 mega 8 firmware select this uh, path where you are downloaded inside from inside avr dudes as we are using 80 mega 8 ic we are selecting the 80 mega 8 firmware now click on detect now i am getting a problem and that is chip signature is uh, uh, 0000 so the ic is target ic is not detected even after uh, clicking on force uh, i am not able to uh, detect the 80 mega a now clicking on program also uh, does not help as the chip uh, target chip has not been identified uh, you are getting this uh, error again even after clicking on force or uh, clicking on where switching off verify i am getting the same problem as the uh, signature it is showing as 0000 that means target ic is not uh, detected and uh, programmer is not able to communicate with the target ic now let us see this uh, see the solution this is the schematic diagram uh, circuit diagram of the usb asp programmer here you can see a jumper jp2 between pin 1 and pin 16 this is called self programming jumper so this jumper should be enabled pin 1 is a uh, normally pulled high uh, that is a reset pin between pin 1 and pin 16 which is uh, slave select a jumper is there jp2 jumper that is connected to pin 16 through 270 ohms resistor generally in uh, original uh, usb asp uh, this jumper is provided but in my case my usb asp is not having this jumper so i have to solder a 270 ohms resistor between pin 1 and pin 16 this is to enable uh, self programming of the usb asp after uh, upgrading firmware this resistor should be removed for normal operation so i am soldering a resistor 270 ohms resistor between pin 1 and pin 16 uh, to enable self programming remember this uh, resistor should be removed after fim firmware is upgraded for, for normal operation this uh, jumper should not be there now this 270 ohms is resistor is soldered now let us go back to avr dudes again now click on uh, detect the chip has been detected now the signature is 1E9307 hex which is the signature of uh, 80 mega 8 IC now we can uh, set the fuses low fuse to FF and uh, H fuse to E9 click on set fuses this is to enable external crystal L fuse should be FF and H fuse is E9 now click on program now it is a success the firmware is being upgraded you can see uh, the firmware is upgraded and uh, flash is written and also the fuse bits are written uh, L fuse and H fuse now you can uh, uh, so unsolder the 
टू सेवेंटी ओम्स रेजिस्टर एंड यूज इट फॉर रेगुलर यू एस बी एस पी अपलोडिंग हेक्स फाइल ऑन टू एट जीरो फाइव वन नाउ लेट एस सी द सेकेंड मेथड ऑफ अपग्रेडिंग फिमवेयर हियर वील बी यूजिंग अनदर यू एस बी एस पी टू अपलोड फिमवेयर ऑन टू द डिफेक्टिव यू एस बी एस पी द कनेक्शन बिटवीन द टू यू एस बी एस पी सॉर सिंपल दैट इज वन टू वन कनेक्शन द ग्राउंड शुड गो टू ग्राउंड आर एस टी टू आर एस टी एम ओ एस आई टू एम ओ एस आई एम आई एस ओ टू एम आई एस ओ फाइव वोल्ट टू फाइव वोल्ट दिस इज वन टू वन कनेक्शन यू कैन यूज द सिक्स पिन वायर डायरेक्टली सो दैट कनेक्शन इज वन टू वन सो द टारगेट यू एस बी एस पी शुड हैव दिस टू सेवेंटी ओम्स रेजिस्टर सोल्डर इफ योर प्रोग्रामर हैज जे पी टू जंपर देन यू कैन यू नी नॉट सोल्डर दिस टू सेवेंटी ओम्स as my usb sp is not having the self programming jumper i am soldering this 270 ohms resistor between pin 1 and 16 pin 16 is the slave select now connect the usb of uh, pc to the master that is the usb is the left hand side usb sp open the avr dude software select the programmer as uh, usb sp it is found at the bottom usb asp select the programmer and then port is uh, usb just usb select that usb baud rate is always 19200 firmware can be upgraded only at this baud rate and the bit rate is 1.5 megahertz that is uh, 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 that is the default value and the target ic select as 80 mega 8 and the path to the firmware is uh, selected 80 mega 8 hex firmware and then uh, the fuse bits are uh, uh, provided l fuse is ff and uh, h fuse is uh, e9 click on set fuse and now click on uh, program it is a success but compared to the other method arduino method this method will be slower the firmware will be upgraded in a bit slowly but if you click on detect you may get error sck error but you can ignore that error and just directly click on program now the firmware is being uh, upgraded it is bit slower compared to the arduino method once the firmware has been upgraded you can remove the jumper at uh, jp2 or you can or the 270 ohms resistor you are soldered and then you can use it as normal usb asp thank you for watching